Hello everyone, welcome to the session of Introduction to Shell Script. In this session, we are going to start with the concept of shell scripting. So let's see what are we going to cover in this session. We'll understand the concept of shell program. Then we'll see what are the different types of shells and what are the features supported by these shells. And then in order to write a shell scripting, we understand the concept of shell prompt. So let's first understand the concept of shell. So if you're giving any kind of commands or programs to the system that is passed to the system through the shell. The shell interprets those commands and programs and pass it to the kernel. The kernel will then decide how the processing has to be done and after processing it is passed to the user through the shell. So we can say that shell is the interface between the kernel and the user. Now we will be writing some shell programs so understand what is shell program. We can define the shell program as a series of Unix commands which are executed one after the other. So what is the advantage of having shell program is that instead of running one command at a time, we can write uh, this series of commands in the form of program so that we can run this list of commands as a program. So that makes my work faster. So that is the concept of shell program. Now we have different types of shells available depending upon what features they are providing us. The first one which we are going to talk about is the bond shell as such. So this shell is one of the most popular shell because it, uh, it is, comes mostly bundled with the Unix system which made it uh, most popular. So by default people use the bond shell as, which is also called as as such. Then comes the next shell called as con shell. So corn shell is uh, considered as the family member of bond shell as use the sim uh, dollar symbol itself. Uh, the, uh, what is the advantage of corn shell over bond shell is that it is very powerful and is a super set of bond, uh, bond shell. So it has much more features and much more capabilities uh, and more efficient than the bond shell. Then we have the bond again shell bash. So this is also more powerful than the bond shell as it provides us some additional features like we can also uh, use command line editing and its program name is bash. Now which shell to use depending upon how you want to use it and what features you want you can use any of these shells. Now since we are going to write a shell programming we want to know that how to write the shell programming. First, we'll see that how to start writing with the shell programming. We need a dollar prompt called as shell prompt. So, how to do it? We'll just move to Unix and see where is the shell prompt and how can we get started with writing with the shell program. Okay, now we are in uh, Unix. So, we'll open a terminal. So, as soon as we open a terminal, we see here dollar. This is called your shell prompt. Now in order to write a shell programming we need an editor. So for that we will use a vi editor. So how to open a editor we will just give vi and we will give a file name. Let's say we give file 1 and then sorry just delete it. We will give it vi and the file 1. So now you can see that it has opened one VI editor. This is the file and as soon as we open our VI editor, here we can write a shell programming. So here we can give a list of commands will be called as a shell programming. Now whenever we open the VI editor, we'll find that VI editor has three kinds of modes. The first one is called my insert mode. The insert mode is the mode where we can uh, type anything in a VI editor. Next comes your command mode. So whatever keys you see in your keyboard will act as a keys, as a commands. So that's why it's called the command mode. Then we have ex command mode where we can save the file and quit from this VI editor. So by default any VI editor is in your command mode. So in order to uh, start typing in this we need to go to our insert mode. So switching from one mode to another we use the escape. So we'll just click escape and then press insert or I. So as soon as we press insert or I, we are in a insert mode where we can type here. 
Now here we can write all series of commands and after series, typing all series of commands, now we want to save the file. For that again we will use escape colon w q. So w is for save, q is for quit. Now we will just come out of this file. So this is how you can open your VI editor with the VI and the file name and then you can type, write your shell programming and using colon wq we can come out of that editor. Now we will go and details and understand this concept in a better way uh, in the, uh, the next session. Okay, thank you for the session.